As a minister, she was an inspirational voice within the cabinet and indeed to the nation. And I greatly admired, and many of us, her capacity for new ideas and innovation, especially her tenacity in seeing them through. But most of all, her commitment to the notion that all service to man is actually service to God. And she took that very seriously. And that we owe the people, especially the poor and the disadvantaged, not just empathy, but concrete and creative provision to enable them to live their best lives. This is why, as minister, she prioritized the social investment program when, for the first time, uh, the country voted almost 500 billion naira of our annual budget to the welfare program, which was called the Social Investment Program, which involved engaging 500,000 young men and women and, uh, and giving microcredit to almost 2 million traders and also a homegrown school feeding program for 9.5 million children daily in public schools across the country. So I'm there not really surprised that uh, she has decided to use some of her enormous talent and influence to establish an organization that raises funds and provides resources for indigenous grassroots charities working with orphaned and vulnerable children, disadvantaged youth, and victims of domestic violence. So the Dashmi Foundation is in every sense, uh, Kemi Adioshum, in every sense, who she really is. And whether she likes it or not, and whether she likes it or not, for a very long time, is going to be associated very closely with her. We know that in 78 years from now, it will be a different story, and we pray that it will finally have been uh, disengaged from her as an individual. But for now, it's always going to be seen as something you're doing. But what I think is happening here is that philanthropy is not like it used to be, and I think she's pointed that out, when all you needed was a good and kind heart, and you didn't need to plan or organize uh, as you would a business for profit. And I think what Kemi and her team have done is to bring the new notion of social enterprise to this project, philanthropy that is run with the discipline, with the attention to detail, with the financial prudence, of a successful business. And she can do all of that, and I'm sure that she, her team is imbibing that, given her background in finance, both uh, private and public sector. So the, an important component, and I'm you know, just looking through all of the literature on the Dashmi Foundation, is the Dashmi store, which I think is very innovative. And I think it's one of the creative ways uh, by which the foundation will not only mobilize funds for charity, but also give an opportunity for people to be able to earn a living. So the idea of Thrift for Charity is a brilliant one, and certainly the first of its kind in Nigeria. It's a unique model. It's a unique model which does not just give to the needy in the conventional way, of merely handing out donations is an innovative and structured way of bringing donations together, of aggregating donations to earn income to transform the lives of the vulnerable and needy while creating jobs in the process. So this process ensures that donations get to the hard to access vulnerable people via the grassroots charities uh, that the foundation supports. I'm particularly impressed with the online Dash Me store. And I must say that uh, we've, tried, we've tried to look at it, and it's very user-friendly and easy to navigate. But I think one of the very important things about it is that today many people, especially since COVID, many people are buying stuff online. So I think the moment is right for the, uh, for the online store, and I'm sure it's going to be tremendously successful. I must say that your focus on funding grassroots is so crucial. Funding grassroots charities is so crucial. And I know that uh, having campaigned uh, with you on behalf of our great party, the APC, all across Ogun State and in every nook and cranny of Nigeria, 
it is clear that you cannot reach Nigeria and Nigerians if you don't have a plan for the grassroots. One good thing about politics, you know, everybody, I mean, the people say the worst things about politics, but one good thing, just one good thing, is how it is that you actually can reach practically every part, every nook and cranny of your country, of your nation, and you can actually see how people live, see how people exist. Now, I think that this must have informed uh, you, the idea that what you really should fund are grassroots charities because they are the ones that can really make uh, a difference. It's clear to me that the ultimate objective of this foundation is not to be an arms giver, but a powerful institution also for the creation of wealth for the less privileged today. And I'm glad that the poor and disadvantaged now have one of the smartest, most eloquent, and most tenacious spokespersons and activists, uh, Mrs. Kemi Adeoshu, as their own and, in the, and on their side. There's no doubt that Dashmi Foundation will be a game changer in philanthropy and social enterprise in Nigeria. I have absolutely uh, no, no doubt about that. But I also want to say to the team at uh, Dashmi Foundation, and we're told that they're a young team, we haven't had the pleasure yet of meeting with them, that what you're doing is uh, putting yourself in a very important moment in history. And it may be difficult now to understand that. But one thing that's very clear to me, after uh, 64 years on the face of this earth, and I think that I'm now in a position to uh, advise, I'm, by the way, a grandfather now, you know. But one thing that has become clear to me is that, yes, you may make a name and be remembered, as a business person or as a public servant. But to live in the lives, in the, in the hearts of men and women for years to come, and perhaps even forever, you must do something that's transformative for the lives of people. Something that really changes people's lives. And this is the sort of thing that is being done here. Because you are set to change the lives of so many, and to change the stories of so many, not just here in Nigeria, but across the world, you have certainly put yourself on the path to true greatness. And I really urge you to stick to it. And there may be difficult times. There may be times when you just wonder whether it was all worth it. But you can be sure that just as with everything else, it's going to work out and it's going to work out well. But most importantly, not only will people's lives be transformed, yours also. And you will be remembered for it forever. So I'd like to thank you all very much again for making the time to come here. And also to wish uh, the staff, management, and all of us supporters of the Dashmi Foundation very well. And we pray that this foundation will achieve all of its objectives. And that we all will continue to support it for many, many years to come. Thank you very much. God bless you.